The scene is that there's a, a hotel in Liverpool Street. It's a hotel room. It's a penthouse suite or one of like a big suite. Um, lots of drugs, lots of money, lots of expensive fetish gear. Um, and uh, basically, a professional has come to London from another country. He's hired um, one or more. Um, escorts. Um, he's dressed them up in his kind of fantasy way and then he's just happy to sit there in a room and basically watch them um, inject themselves with, with, uh, with crystal meth. The reason why I decided to do the photo series was because I was doing a lot of fetish portraiture, if you like, um, and I became aware of the fact that I was just doing, you know, portraiture and, uh, and sick, crazy ideas and, and things like this. But I wanted to do something that had an actual kind of like a relevance to the age we were living in and um, um, something which would um, have a social message with a social conscience and a social policy. And I kind of looked around me and kind of saw that a lot of people were um, taking crystal meth and then it was becoming a problem. A lot of people were addicted and going through rehab and all kinds of problems like that. Crystal meth does make you feel really horny. People use it to enhance sex, that's what, that's what it's for. It would be kind of disingenuous to sort of just do a, um, a series of images that focus solely on coming down and dealing with the, the problems afterwards. It's important to have a 360 degree view of this subject if you can understand it because um, you've got to understand the reasons why people get into it in the first place. The other thing I, I found out as well is that a lot of people have a fetish for, um, for veins, for thick veins. Um, that was told to me by a few people. So in that photo I've used lighting to kind of emphasize the veins in the arm. So I faced a lot of criticism um, from from various people. Um, not 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 you know from everyone. There was a lot of people that did understand what I was trying to do. Um, but um, yeah, a few people, a few vlogs, and a few people here and there thought that I was sort of trying to make something um, sexy out of something that's ultimately tragic. And in a way, that's true. Um, but like I say, it come, all comes back to the point: is that you can understand why the problem exists, then you have to sort of understand. Um, that the reason it exists is because it is viewed as sexy. So the interpretation of any kind of art really is is all in the eye of the beholder. So um, I could also turn around and say, well, uh, you know, if you regard that as a sexy image yourself, then maybe you need to re-examine your own priorities um, because uh, it's it's after all perhaps not a sexy image. Um, watching two people in, in, engage in something which potentially could be very harmful for them. Um, you know, I might say to somebody, you know, if you find that a sexy image, maybe you need to ask yourself why. Um, and are you at risk of, of this and, and other influences like that?